the Russian authorities in Crimea asked for a great deal of help from the Moscow administration. Russia increased the number of troops in the region to 6,000 and made a security deal with the pro-Russian government in Crimea. Russian troops began patrolling the streets of Crimea. The Russian parliament then authorized Putin to use the military. 150,000 Russian forces waiting on the Ukrainian border took up a combat position. Both sides are making preparations for the Great Crimean War. The Ukrainian side is currently conducting major operations to cross the southern parts of the Dnieper River. Special units of the Ukrainian army carry out a landing operation in the river region at night. The Russian army managed to get one step closer to Crimea as a result of the sudden raid of the Ukrainian army the other day. The approach of the Ukrainian army to Crimea made the Russian side quite alarmed. While the Ukrainian army was advancing cautiously, Moscow hastily sent troops to the region. The Russian side also announced that there would be a heavy price in case of military intervention in Crimea. Despite this statement, the Ukrainian army continues its massive attacks to regain the lost lands. 6,000 Russian soldiers and many armored vehicles arrived in Crimea. The port area of Sevastopol, which is now in the Crimea region, has become the most important base of the Russian Navy. There are also many Russian military bases in the region. Russia has turned this region, which it has controlled for a long time, into a fortress. Ukrainian special forces examined important areas in Crimea. After the tension in the region increased, the priority of the 150,000 Russian soldiers who participated in the Ukraine war is to protect Crimea. Experts say that Russia will protect Crimea at all costs. President Zelensky had announced months ago that Crimea would be the next target after the city of Kherson was completely taken over. Indeed, Ukraine's next target is officially known after Ukrainian units liberated Kherson. Despite the Kremlin's crushing defeats, it continues to protect Crimea. Currently, nine HIMARS systems have arrived in the Kherson region. Experts also explain that the control of Crimea will pass back to Ukraine thanks to HIMARS systems. In fact, military analysts announced that Russian troops would withdraw from Crimea by the spring of next year. Because experts state that the Russian army has many problems in the region in terms of logistics supply. The Russian commander, who led the Ukrainian war, announced that the Russian army had withdrawn from Kherson due to insufficient supply. After this statement, the Ukrainian army started a rapid advance on the eastern and southern fronts. It appeared in the plan of the Ukrainian army with the arrival of the winter season. In a statement through a spokesperson, the Ukrainian army stated that a new front could be opened due to the control of the city of Kherson. A spokesperson for the Ukrainian army announced that the next move is also planned. According to military experts, Ukrainian forces can now attack deep into Russian-controlled areas. It has also been officially announced by the authorities that the Ukrainian army will launch a major offensive on the Eastern Front and in the Crimea region. While Russian troops are preparing trenches near the Crimean border, fierce clashes are expected on the front between the Donetsk and Luhansk regions in the east. According to the British Ministry of Defense, it is stated that the Russians have established new defense lines 60 kilometers behind the existing front lines in some regions. In fact, this indicates that the Russian army has already begun to take care to stop the advance of the Ukrainian troops. The military strategist declared that the Ukrainian armed forces took the lead in this war. Due to this situation, Kiev has started to use all the advantages it has. Crossing the river, now on the southern front, and pushing the Russians further back required complex logistical planning, blowing up bridges over the Dnieper on both sides. This week, Kiev forces launched operations against Russian positions on the Kinburn Peninsula, a gateway to the Black Sea Basin, and parts of the southern Kherson region still under Russian control. Ukrainian forces are trying to cross the Dnieper River directly. Russian artillery began to hit the river area significantly. The activity of Russian warships in the Black Sea is also expected to increase, as the Ukrainian army tries to cross the southern part of the Dnieper River. 
Some military experts explain that climatic conditions could disproportionately damage under-equipped Russian forces and that Ukraine could take advantage of the frozen terrain and move more easily. Experts also stated that Russia's trying to prevent further withdrawal and strengthen its defense systems on Crimea. However, due to insufficient equipment, the Kremlin has great problems in sending defense systems to the Crimea region. Intelligence units also state that Russia will use the winter to plan 2023 attacks, stockpile ammunition, and plan attacks targeting critical infrastructure, including energy and water plants. It was thus certain that the Russian soldiers would spend the approaching winter defending the areas they controlled. Ukrainian authorities also started to work for the fastest settlement of the heat, electricity and water cuts due to the Russian bombardment. On the other hand, in the skies of Donbass, the Russian unmanned aerial vehicles and the drone controlled by the Ukrainian troops coincidentally came face to face. The probability of such an encounter among small drones is very low, but there has been a great deal of aerial combat between drone operators. According to the information released by local sources, the moment of meeting of two unmanned aerial vehicles in the sky over Donbass appeared. Due to the characteristics of drones, it was used over the area to correct reconnaissance and artillery strikes. Experts point out that the Russian drone operator carefully aimed at the drone and attacked the Ukrainian drone. However, the Ukrainian drone is not damaged due to the size and weight difference. The Russian UAV falls to the ground as it hits the other drone very violently. The Ukrainian drone continues to perform its duty without any damage as a result of this attack. The Russian UAV crashed to the ground as a result of the attack. Experts also state that Russian UAV operators are attempting such ridiculous attacks because of insufficient training. The Russian UAV operator deliberately attacks at the expense of breaking the propeller of the device. Russian operators had made such a mistake before. The Ukrainian side won both of the drone battles that took place in the front zone. The 92nd Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces launched a massive offensive against the positions of the Russian troops in the Kuzmovka region. Located in the immediate vicinity of the important P-07 highway for the Eastern Front, Kuzmovka is a very important point for logistics supply. Ukrainian troops in the Barkiv region are aiming to take control of the highways on the Eastern Front and leave the Russian soldiers without supply. The 92nd Ukrainian Battalion is currently fighting fiercely in the region. Since the Russian side could not stop the Ukrainian attacks, it continues to hit the infrastructures it has determined in the region. Russia's missile attacks on Ukraine continue. The Ukrainian Air Force intercepted 50 of the more than 70 missiles fired by Russia on Ukrainian soil. Ukrainian air defense systems are able to intercept Russian missiles quite successfully. Air strikes, Moscow's last hope, are officially stopped by Ukrainian defense systems. All Trumps in the Kremlin's hands are officially exhausted. While the Putin administration was experiencing problems due to the course of the war, it started to live with its own internal problems. There have been rumors that there may be a regime change in Russia in the near future. It is stated that Putin will soon be forced to resign or be fired because of a major uprising. The failure of the Russian army in the Ukraine war puts Putin in the corner. We'll see what happens in the coming days.